what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome to my channel we're gonna get straight into things so before we get started if you haven't watched part one of life with track star i'm gonna just call it that <laughs> make sure you go watch that video first that way you can know who is who in this story time so this is part two and this one is going to be centered around the girl that i named Titi, who was my friend um in part one of this so if you remember from part one i had explained how track star as well as his ex were a part of different organizations that piece was actually very vital for this part of the story because those orgs come into play with what happens between TT and I. So like I let y'all know before, TT and I met through doing a pageant at our school. We hung out like immediately. We clicked so we clicked so fast. Like we just clicked. I never knew who she was like, but she just had this like aura about her um where she wanted to like make new friends, I feel like. Um and I wanted to make new friends too but I am more of a closed off person so it's hard for me versus her she was just kind of like you know listen I want to make new friends so I'm gonna go get it and so that's kind of what drew me to her we had to get certain things for the pageant like certain outfits and stuff uh to match with all the other girls so she just asked me one time like do you want to go to the mall with me for us to pick out our outfits and stuff like that like she was just so willing and able to get to know me and I was like feeling the same way you know she made me feel comfortable so we hung out for a good amount of time during that time um of the pageant the pageant came I ended up getting second place uh and she was just like so happy for me like her energy about that whole thing was just awesome like she was so happy that I placed like she was so excited for me okay yeah babe. okay yeah babe. So from there, you know, at this point in time, I, okay, my timeline is a little off. I'm not going to lie. Part two and part three, I'm not completely certain on which one happened first, but I think this happened first. I don't have my like text messages or nothing anymore. I tried to look for them, but I think this situation happened first. But regardless of all of that, I had just like ended a very long friendship with somebody else. So, you know. I was in a position where I wasn't even open. I wanted to make new friends. I wanted to meet new people, but because I was losing friendships, things were done to me. Um, I was really like, if it didn't work out with TT, I was done with the whole friendship thing. I was just gonna deal with whoever was present now and just be done with trying to make new friends because i was literally in a place where i was tired of going through the same things with women so yeah we would hang out all the time like i said prior we would do everything together i would always just go over um to her apartment on campus we would go to the events on campus together we just do everything together she would tell me about guys she was talking to i would tell her about guys that i was talking to so of course naturally she y'all know the story she knew how i ended up talking to track star she kind of was the person that told me about him you know um so let me sit back i feel like i'm like up and i need to sit back so um i'm not bothered or upset with this girl anymore like i don't have any hard feelings towards her anymore I will say thinking about when people when my friendships have ended based on what happened it's still there's still a, a little bit of hurt in it I will say so I can't hide that in this video unfortunately but I don't feel any type of way towards her at this point in time you know it is what it is what happened happened wish you nothing but the best after everything happened with Trackstar and the ex and him sending the text to her to let her know, you know, what it was, like I said, I was still being petty. So at this point in time, I was engaging in the pettiness on social media. So on Snapchat and stuff like that, Trackstar and I were not in a relationship. Whoa, 
oh shoot see that's why that's where the timeline is messed up at this point we were in a relationship though there were a few times where the ex reached out to me um i remember she reached out on instagram once she wanted to talk to me she wanted to have a woman-to-woman -woman conversation at this point though i didn't want to have that conversation because you could have had that conversation with me prior instead you decided to take the weird approach and talk about me you know try to be funny do all that extra stuff that you felt like you should do over him so when she reached out like she wanted to have a conversation with me i didn't want to have a conversation i wasn't interested in addition to her wanting to have conversations with me she wanted to have conversations with trackstar so she was always like trying to get him to talk to her one-on-one -on -one. and i was like that's not happening if you want to talk to him i'll be present but in reality there's nothing to talk about so i was like no no conversations happening without me present number one and so everybody that was involved on my side knew like trackstar is not communicating having no sit down meetings that's not it's just not a thing okay so like i was saying Everybody that was in my little circle, like Jordan, TT, my best friend, and my other peoples, they knew there would be no conversation. There would be no sit-down meeting. It's not happening. So, you know, that was what it was. Now, time goes on. Nothing new is going on. I'm not sure if part three happens in here or not. But, um... I knew that TT wanted to be a part of an organization on campus, but I didn't know which one. I didn't expect for her to let me know which one she wanted to be a part of. I just knew that she did want to be a part of an or of one of the orgs. As I was dating Trackstar, I would always go to the apartment to stay with him. You know, like I said, I'll be either be there because of her or most of the time at this point I was there because of him. I was spending the night there. I was spending my whole days there. I'd go there after class or after work. I was always with him unless I really just needed to go home or he done got on my nerves. We went fully public, I believe, at a Christmas event um, on campus. It was a Christmas event that I believe his org was throwing, maybe. So at that point in time, people knew, you know, if you didn't know already, this is a thing, like, and of course, naturally, you know, people like were not okay with it. They was looking real crazy, like, really, what is this? And because I was friends with TT, which TT knew a lot of these people longer or better than I did, naturally, I feel like people was also side eyeing her because of my relationship with Trackstar. So now let me go back. So there were a couple of events going on on campus around this time um, that I just was not going to go to. I wasn't interested in going to, number one. And number two, I wouldn't go to them anyway because people clearly don't like me. But I had no issue with, like, TT going to these events. You know, like, it, it had nothing to do with me. You do whatever you want to do. This is your life. I was never the type of person to be like, you can't go to that because I'm not going to that. I'm too grown for that. But I will say that there were certain conversations that TT and I had about certain people and organizations to where I wouldn't have thought that she would go to some events because of what she said to me. There were just certain things that I was just like, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even think that she would go and do or be a part of or participate in because of things that were said between us between two friends so the organization that the ex was a part of was having an event i saw it in our little uh black student group chat that we have they you know they put their flyer in there so you know saw that you know cool keep scrolling whatever I knew I wasn't going, but I'm saying that like, cause I want y'all to keep in mind that I did see that flyer, but things didn't connect until later. <laughs> so I saw that flyer for the ex's event that was happening this night. 
for whatever reason that day or that night i just decided i wasn't going over to track stars apartment I just, I don't know what it was, but I was just like, oh, I'm just going to go home. Well, probably was God telling me not to go. I don't know if I was tired. I don't know if I had homework, but I didn't go over there that, this night. So at some point during the night, I get a text from TT and she asked me, am I, she either asked, am I coming to the apartment? Yes, yeah, she asked, am I coming over to the apartments tonight? I'm just like, nah, I'm going to stay home. Uh, you know, whatever. So I say no. So I'm just chilling in my room, I'm on my phone, I'm scrolling through Instagram and Snapchat and I look and I see that TT has posted something on her story. So I open her story up and I see that she is at the event that the exes org was hosting. And so, you know, I'm like, huh, like I said earlier, we had a lot of conversations. I wouldn't have expected her to be at this event. But none of the less, do your thing. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it, girl. So that was that. I went about my night for the next hour or so, probably. And I was just chilling and watching TV or whatever I was doing. And I get a phone call from Trackstar. And Trackstar calls me and he's like, you will never believe what just happened. So I'm like, what just happened? What's the tea? What, let me know. What, what's going on? What happened? He proceeds to let me know that he went down. Like I said, in the last story time, I told y'all, TT and Trackstar live in the same apartment building. TT and Trackstar knew each other before me. So it wasn't weird for TT and Trackstar to go to one or the other's room at some point. So he lets me know. TT called me down to her room. She told me that she needed something, help with something. So she asked me to come downstairs. And when I got there, the ex was sitting in her living room. Who was sitting in the living room? The ex was sitting in the living room. Wait, wait, so you're telling me you, my boyfriend, went down to TT, my friend's apartment. And in her room was your ex. In her, in my friend's apartment, your ex was sitting. Yeah. He was like, man, I turned around so quick, I left. And I'm just like, wow. And at this point, I'm trying to understand what's happening here. Why, like, cause I saw your story and you were at the event. But I didn't think nothing of that. But you text me a little while ago and you asked me, was I coming to the apartment? And now my boyfriend calls me and lets me know that you got his ex in your apartment and you called him downstairs, unbeknownst to him, what was going on. Without letting me know a thing. Making sure I don't, I'm, I'm completely out of the loop. I was pissed. And I'm pretty sure I said something along the lines of, you know, what you did is like that's like ultimate betrayal right there why would you sit here and try to set my ex up basically that's what i felt like that's what i felt i felt like you were setting my boyfriend up with his ex it felt like a setup to me it felt like a setup to him i asked him i mean I, we talked about it i'm like this felt what you did felt like a setup number one to even go as far as to make sure i wasn't didn't know to lie to him because he's your friend at this point too longer than we've been friends so she's texting me it wasn't even like that like no just let me explain let me just i wasn't even trying to do i wasn't trying to hurt you i'm pissed but at this point i'm gonna let you explain but i've already made up in my head that like this friendship is over so she explained exactly why she did what she did she didn't lie and say she didn't do it but her explanation is what really put the nail in the coffin of our friendship because basically when she went to this event for the org some of the other girls that were part of the org let her know that the ex was unhappy with her the ex wasn't feeling her she wasn't rocking with her because of me and track stars relationship and so 
they told her that she needed to go and talk to the ex. They told TT to go talk to the ex to make things right with the ex. So she goes to talk to the ex to let her know like that she's not a part of that. That has nothing to do with her, um, my relationship with him, which, you know, I'm not even mad about that. If you want to let people know, like, you know, that's my friend, but I have nothing to do with that relationship, what they have going on, and you, that's between y'all. That has nothing to do with me. At the end of the day, it don't have nothing to do with her. It has nothing to do with TT at all. So I could understand that to an extent. But her bringing Trackstar down to her, to her apartment to meet with the ex was a request by the ex. That was requested by the ex so that she could come into this organization, basically. And that was where I was like, you went through with that. You put our friendship on the line. Because she wanted you to do that so that you could be in this organization. That solidified to me that our friendship meant less than your spot in the organization. And for that, I was like, that's unforgivable. That's like, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do at this point or say at this point to make me feel like it's all good because I would never, there's nothing, I mean, I, mean, I can't even get into everything but I would never stoop so low as to betray my friend's trust just to get on somewhere and y'all want to know the worst part of it the worst part is not only did you go along with it but you went along with it and they still didn't let you be a part of that organization So you went and you lost your friendship. You went behind your friend's back. You went behind two of your friend's back for nothing at all. Because you got nothing in return from it. You gained absolutely nothing. You didn't get to join the org. Did you Did you get the guy? Did you get the job? Is your house any bigger? Did, did money just magically, you know, get put in your pocket? That one was like... I've lost the friend, like I said, I've lost friendships before, but that one was a different type of betrayal. Like, cause I just would never, I would never do that to a friend. I would never sacrifice a friendship for a job, for a position, for a come up. That's just not how, I don't care how long I've known you. I don't care how long or short the friendship has been. I would never jeopardize or backstab somebody that I care about just so I could get what I'm what I want. There's just other ways to go about getting what you want. You could have graduated and joined the org. There were so many different other ways, but you chose the way that would hurt your friend and you were strategic about it because you made sure to know that I wasn't there. And if my boyfriend who, you know, track star, even though I know like our foundation was rocky, we still had a good, good times in our relationship. And if he didn't care enough about me to tell me that, I would have been completely in the dark about the whole thing that whole situation could have happened and if he didn't care enough about our relationship to tell me it just i just would have never even known because you wasn't going to tell me the only reason you said something was because i found out so yeah you know um that was the end of our friendship she tried to fix it she would reach out you know she reached out for my birthday stuff like that she asked me if she could take me out to get drinks you know talk and stuff like that but I just wasn't willing 
I wasn't interested. And like I said earlier, I was at a place where I was like, this is, this is it. If this doesn't work, I'm done. So that cut off, like I didn't even discuss anything with her in person. I never really discussed exactly how I felt because in the text messages, I was just like very short and like, whatever. I don't, I could care less about what you're talking about. I've seen her and we were cordial. So, you know, cause I mean, at, like I said, I'm not in that space anymore where I'm hurt. So I'm okay. I can be around you. If you say hello to me, I can speak to you. You know, we're net will never be friends again. And that's, I'm pretty sure on both our ends, that's not an issue, but um, yeah, we were, in, we're, we were in a place like where I saw her, she saw me, you know, she said, hey, I said hi, we chit chat a little bit, hugs, goodbye, you know, all that, it was great, but um, we never talked about it, like how I really felt. So, you know, if she sees this video, somebody sends it to her, this is, this is how I felt about that whole situation. It definitely left some damage for a good amount of time where I was just like, I don't want to deal with women, period. I'm now in a new place like where I've opened myself up to other women because I couldn't dwell in the past with how people have done me and my friendships. But um, yeah, that one really, it really hurt. It really did. <laughs> so yeah, I know the, the last story about Trackstar was all fun and funny and stuff like that. And this one was a little more like, you know, the mood was a little more down for this one. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is, I have to tell the story. This is what happened. I can't fake how it happened. So yeah, you guys. <laughs> I promise y'all, I'm though, I'm like, I'm really good. It's just when you go back and you go back into those parts of your memory, you get put back in those places. So of course I'm like remembering how I felt at that time, but whatever. <laughs> So that concludes my story and friendship with TT. I wish her nothing but the best. Um, yeah. All right. So if y'all enjoyed this one, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please do that for my channel because that helps other people to see this, to see me. And yes, also watch the video and subscribe. Subscribing is free. You literally just have to subscribe. But with that being said, I'm going to do part three soon. Part three is going to be a little more upbeat. It's going to be a little more, you know, this one's going to be about the time the ex wanted to fight me. So if you're interested in knowing about that whole situation about the ex wanting to fight, then <laughs> make sure you stay tuned. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.